Okay, so pretty much down to the last sip of both Shadow and Hildebrand Farms Dairy Chocolate Milk. This will be the last time I'm having either one of these in a while. So I'm moving from Kansas City to Chicago area tomorrow. I guess I've been spoiled by having such awesome local chocolate milk uh, being available in the Kansas City area. I am a little bit concerned about the, the chocolate milk scene in Chicago. Obviously, you've got Oberweiss, which uh, is, a, is kind of a local institution in North Aurora. And Oberweiss is very good. Got no qualms with Oberweiss, except that it's 2%. Uh, so it's very good for 2%, but at the end of the day, it's still 2%. Uh, so if they ever make a whole chocolate milk, I'm sure it'll be delicious. Okay, well, I'm back at Oberweiss Dairy in Elmhurst, Illinois. Uh, this is just one of the many shops in the Chicago metro area and uh, they're headquartered in North Aurora, Illinois, which is a little ways west of here. Uh, it's a family-owned local dairy that you see their products all over the place, and it is kind of the de facto local chocolate milk in the Chicago area. And for my time living here, which has been about a year and a half, uh, it's been pretty good. It served me well. Uh, I enjoy the standard Oberweiss dairy chocolate milk quite a bit. Uh, it comes in glass bottle and it's 2%. Now for years it's always been 2% and I've always kind of been pining for why don't, why don't they do a whole chocolate milk and I think I always rationalize that as they've got quite a, an ice cream business as well and an ice cream is very good uh, so I assume they would use 2% for the chocolate milk so they have more dairy fat to allocate to the ice cream. But recently, earlier this year, they came out with a whole chocolate milk and it was a whole organic chocolate milk which I picked up here shortly after it came out. Man, I was excited to see it. A balmy February afternoon in Chicagoland. Can't think of a better time to visit Oberweiss Dairy, uh, pick up some ice cream and uh, certainly some chocolate milk. Word has it that they've just come out with an organic chocolate milk. So I haven't seen it in stores yet, but uh, I'm gonna hit up the the actual Oberweiss Dairy Store and check it out. It's not that. There it is. Wow, so it turns out it's actually whole organic milk too, so uh, I, they read my mind. This is brilliant, I can't wait to try it. It does look a little cloudier, uh, like it needs to be shaken more so than the normal uh, 2%. I'll see if I can get that on video. Um, but definitely going to bring this home, review it up, and do a comparison with the normal 2%. Okay, so scratch all that. It is an organic whole chocolate milk, so I couldn't be happier. Uh, normally I'd uh, savage it out of the bottle here, but those big half-gallon bottles are pretty tough to drink out of. I guess I could have got a cup. I normally like to drink it on the spot, but I bought two. I'll just try it at home since I'm only a couple miles away from here. And uh, yeah, awesome. Uh, it sounds like it's here to stay. The Oberweiss just started putting this stuff out uh, according to the lady inside about three weeks ago. I haven't seen it in stores yet, but uh, I will be looking for it going forward and uh, it's a good day. So the question remains, how does the whole chocolate milk compare to the 2%? And uh, we're gonna do that right now. I've just poured out some 2%. Uh, this is the stuff that I'm used to and it is very good, especially first thing in the morning. You'll notice it's got a really strong cocoa profile and it's very unique as well. It's, a, it's a, kind of their signature cocoa profile. It's delicious and you know, it takes some of the attention away from the fact that it's not whole chocolate milk. I think a lot of people won't, won't mind uh, because this is better than a lot of whole chocolate milks, honestly, because the, the chocolate flavor uh, is so good and it's not overly sweet, but it's definitely sweet enough. In terms of 2% reduced fat chocolate milks, this is kind of an elite, elite company uh, for the ones I've had so far. Maybe someday I'll do a video of the best 2% chocolate milks I've had because there's some very good ones out there. a feat of science or whatever it is of agriculture. Uh, and this is certainly one of the ones towards the top. This is the whole organic chocolate milk. Wow, okay. So one thing you'll notice right away is that this is not the same flavor profile at all. Uh, you, you might think I've had other products before where the whole version is flavored 
the same as the reduced fat or low fat version. So it's just like a higher fat clone of it. This is super different from the normal Oberweiss chocolate milk. And I suspect on first taste, if you're having it side by side, a lot of people are gonna be a little bit shocked by this because it's significantly less sweet. It's got a really nice creamy body to it. It's definitely less sweet and the cocoa profile is uh, noticeably darker and more mature, which I like. So the more of this I've had, the more I like. And again, as long as you're not chasing something else that was sweet, as long as you didn't just eat a bowl of ice cream and then try to have this, you're gonna be like, nah, it's, uh, you know, it's lacking a little bit of flavor, but again, on its own, it's super delicious. So again, it's up my alley. Is someone else going to like it more than the regular Oberweiss that they're used to? I'm not sure, uh, but I think it's definitely worth consideration. So uh, from, uh, as far as I can tell, it's a success. Thumbs up to Oberweiss for putting out the whole chocolate milk. It's delicious stuff. Now, that said, they still are selling the low fat, no sugar added chocolate milk, which when I bought it yesterday, the, uh, the woman clarified like, oh, that, that's the reduced sugar, you know, because it's in a similar plastic bottle to the regular chocolate milk. And she just wanted to clarify that I was getting the right one. And I was like, yep, it's, it's terrible, but I'm buying it. I think it probably confused her a little bit. Why would you buy something that you think is terrible? Well because you do reviews for it. Now I did have this in Wisconsin, in Madison, a few years ago, it was the first time I tried it, and uh, it was pretty bad. Otherwise, chocolate, no sugar added. This is not particularly enjoyable. No, not at all. So here goes. I'm not even gonna waste a plastic cup to pour it in. <laughs> Maybe that's how bad it is, in my opinion. I don't want to sound hypocritical. It is super undersweet, and that's fine. You'd expect that with a no sugar added. I mean, for, for no sugar added stuff, I, I guess it's maybe fine. Uh, none of that stuff's ever really any good. It's sweetened with monk juice extract or monk fruit extract. It's not an artificial sweetener, let's face it. It's a natural sweetener, but the flavor of it just doesn't let go. Several seconds after the sip now, I'm still kind of tasting it and it just gives a very unsatisfying finish. I'd almost prefer just none of that whatsoever. No sweetener whatsoever, I don't know. Ugh. But texture wise, it's also kind of chalky, a little bit astringent. I don't prefer this stuff, I don't know who does. Is it chocolatey? Kinda. There, there is a chocolate flavor once you, you, know, you sift through the, the, the kind of kabuki sweetener. I can't imagine anybody likes this stuff. If you're on a super strict, like, no carb diet or something like that, is it gonna be okay? I, no, still, it's gonna suck. Uh, it still has 12 grams of sugar in it because it's got the lactose from the milk. So yeah, there's no sugar added. I guess it's better for you, but it's not like it's low carb or low sugar, period. So I don't know, it's kind of a curious product for me. You know, switch this out with somebody's chocolate milk before they have it, that'd be a good joke to play on them. They'll, they'll probably spit it out. You know, for all the delicious stuff that comes out overweight, it's not gonna hold it against them. They're just trying to, you know, to provide another option for their customers for sure. So I don't wanna get too down on it. I don't like the taste of it, but their other chocolate milk, both the whole, is absolutely delicious and a, and a big success uh, from my standpoint. And also the regular 2% chocolate milk that you see everywhere uh, is, is great too. Overwise, you're doing well. Uh, we're moving away from this area. I will probably miss it a little bit. We interrupt this program to bring you a special report. Okay, it is March 2021 at the time of producing this Overwise video. And what do you know? They've just come out with a new product. It is a no sugar added 2% reduced fat chocolate milk sweetened with stevia. Okay, so it's hard for me to be excited about anything that contains stevia uh, from a flavor standpoint. Really never had anything that's tasted good to me from that. But this has got to be better than that low fat, no sugar added stuff. And that stuff was brutal. So anyway, uh, I do look forward to picking this up and trying it next time I'm in the Chicago area. Do I applaud the innovation. I will say the Oberweiss whole chocolate milk, in my opinion, is the best chocolate milk that comes from Illinois, from a state that yeah, produces a lot of dairy, but doesn't necessarily have a lot of independent chocolate milk producers. You know, hey, it's still, it's still the best that you can get out here.
That was messier than it needed to be. It feels criminal to walk out of there without ice cream. Uh, probably the first time I've ever done that, but uh, I'm drinking my calories today. Best chocolate milk on earth. I don't know about that. Uh, the earth's an awfully large place. I will for sure let you know when I've tried every last one of them.